My name is Olaomi Benedict. I am a co-founder of Grow West Africa and the executive director of Grow West Africa. Uh, Grow West Africa has been running a series of programs for the since 2017, teaching women farmers, different stakeholders on organic and agroecology. Last year, we found it team that we needed to invest more in the youth and our young people for them to come on board in, uh, into agroecology. And why are we doing that? Because we have seen that our food system is really damaged. We need to become who we used to be and we need to eat what we grow and our food makes us. So we need to revive the, uh, the food system in Ghana in West Africa and that's why we've created this program called Work, Learn and Hen. In this program you work, you learn and then you hen a stipend. You come into the space, you learn everything about crop production because that's the basis of, for the food system. Before you can produce uh, agroecologically or organically for the animal or animal's boundary, you need to understand the crops also that they will feed on and how to grow it. So here you will learn nursery management, which is key to you, uh, raising seeds and for you to have a good um seed uh, production your seed must your seedling must be very very good and you learn the technique behind it you learn how to mix your soil uh, media for your nursery you learn how to make compost bio fertilizers bio pesticides you learn how to prepare bed properly you you are able to know and be precise about how many what's the quantity of seed that you need to sow what's the quantity of seed that you need to get to the bed because if you see many of our farmers they waste a lot of seedlings when they are sowing and then they leave a lot of it on the field but here you are able to calculate precisely because all this cost goes into your overhead and at the end of the day this is why many farmers are not wealthy are not able to make profit and uh, are not be uh, able to become who they want to be so in agroecology there is money and not just production we teach the entire value chain of agroecology so you don't have to really produce if you don't want to produce but you can go into value addition you can go into marketing you can go into other aspect of agroecology because the 13 principles of agroecology speaks to the entire social ecology and environmental principles hello my name is david benedict um, i'm a co-founder of grow west africa um, we've been on a journey of um, organic and agroecology and this has been our journey so far. Um, we're using this medium to uh, speak to the conscience of those, uh, the stakeholders in agroecology. There has been a noise for some time about agroecology. And for us in West Africa not to be left behind, we decide to be part of those who are getting agroecology off the ground. So we want to encourage um, the policy makers, uh, the donor funders, the supporters, the stakeholders, to get involved in agroecology in Ghana and West Africa precisely. There are a lot of young people that are interested in agroecology and organic and who need all kind of support, mentorship, education, um, extension services, um, technology transfer, finances and what have you. We want to ask you to get on board, we want to, our doors are open, come to Grow West Africa and see what we're doing and see how we can support our young entrepreneurs who are passionate about agroecology and organic. So, my name is Wisdom Tali from Central Region. I'm a conventional farmer. To live a healthy life, what we consume really matter. So I'm simply here to learn how to grow food the right way. And the knowledge I'll get from here will go into me establishing an organic farm in my community. And I hope I get to educate more people into growing food in a healthy way. My name is Elisha Bunyap. I'm from Ida in the northern region of Ghana. I'm here studying agroecology and specifically, I've learned that uh, agroecology is a practice or a system of farming which protects our environment and human health. So after here, I would like to let the people in my locality understand the 
benefits that are, that is in agroecology and specifically organic farming. So I will organize them and be able to teach them how to farm organically so that we will not depend on inorganic products. And so I'll let them under, understand the need to practice organic farming. I'm Doris Kwabi from Isam in the Eastern region. I saw this opportunity on a WhatsApp page and I took it as an opportunity to come and learn a new venture in the agroecology and the organic farming space. And my expectation has fully been met because I've been able to learn new knowledge when it comes to crop selection and also when it comes to the required nutrients to apply to my crops. And during this program, we have been taught about venture planning, which I'll be able, it will help me to be able to build my team after this section. I will say a very thank you to the organizers of this program and the sponsors. Hi, my name is Nana Kuya Crunchywa, and um, I live in uh, Cape Coast, uh, Ghana, and I came from the United States, and I saw the GMO taking over in the United States, and I see GMO coming to Ghana more and more, and I'm, I am excited to learn how to grow foods naturally and without chemicals. I will go back to Cape Coast and share the knowledge that I learned here. My name is Anna Isa from Tamale, Northern Region. When I heard about West, a grew West Africa, I began to develop an interest about the program, and I came here to learn the farming in organic way. And I want to learn, as we came here, we begin to do everything organic way. We use our manual to control with. And I want to live here and carry it home. And I'll start my own farm. I'll do it the organic way. And I'll teach people, teach people how to also grow in organic way. My name is Tahidu Musa. I'm from Kombongo in the northern region. Actually, when I heard about organic farming being practiced by Grow West Africa, it interests me most. And that made me to find myself into this farm. Actually, when we came, from the first day up till now, we've learned a lot. And what interests me most is biopesticides, using readily available plant materials, such as pepper, onion, garlic, and neem tree, to make biopesticides. These biopesticides, I have an intention, when I get home, I will also be preparing it to sell to farmers and also educate farmers on the effects of the synthetic pesticides and the need for them to go into these biopesticides. That will help us improve our health and also help us grow as farmers. Hello, my name is Richard Yenu, I'm Larishin from the Upper West Region. The climate crisis is one of the issues that we need to tackle. And a lot of farmers are using synthetic chemicals to grow their crops. And I have come here to learn about organic farming and agroforestry, which will go a long way to help us to promote healthy and grow just and pure food in our uh, communities. And so I've learned about how to apply fertilizers and a number of essential nutrients that are required for plant growth. I'll be taking this information to advocate on how to practice organic farming in my community. I'm Suleiman Kukuji from Pakapa East region. I came here to learn agroecology and organic farming. And I've learned a lot uh, about generative and degenerative farming. When I get back home, I will organize farmers and teach them about good farming practices so that we leave the use of chemical fertilizers and then uh, use organic fertilizers so that our health will improve. My name is uh, Jeremiah Domairi Juanye. I'm from Upper West. Uh, Dolenzanko. I came here to learn about agroecology in organic farming. And some of the things that I learned, I learned how to, to do uh, nursery management, the practice, uh, when you are mixing the compost, uh, the measurements that you use to put in the compost so that you get the required uh, compost that you need. And then after here, I want to go and then uh, teach people on how to do organic farming and then for the next five years, I want to let, when they are talking about um, organic farming, uh, people will be mentioning my name. My name is Jessica Bugre from Kumbuyili in the northern region of Ghana. 
I signed up for Grow West Africa training program on learn, work and earn program because I wanted to learn how to cultivate organic tubers. I'm a pig farmer and after this program, I hope to go back and produce organic tubers and other uh, consumables to feed my pigs and hopefully one day sell out organic uh, meat to the consumers out there. Um, I want to thank Grow West Africa and every entity and individual who kept in the, who um, put in all the good works to make this program a success because they're actually saving millions of lives out there because they're teaching us the best ways to grow food in a healthy way to save our lives. And I want to say a very big thank you today. My name is Lebanon Esther from Upper West Region, Babylon. I've come here to learn about agroecology and then organic farming. And I'm very happy to be part of this program because when I came here, especially the, those that are taking us through, the CEO and the December, the, those that are taking us through this program are very, they are doing their best. And I'm delighted to be part of it. And I'm very happy that if I go back to my community, I'll be able to educate people on how to go by organic farming, especially how to use the available crops and then grasses to do pesticides. So my name is William Texan a young entrepreneur from Takwa. Uh, last year, I did three acres of vegetables at Ho in the Adakul region. And then this year, I'm doing our three acres of cassava. However, when I saw the advert from Go West Africa about uh, the, the practices that they're doing here, I took it and I came here. When I came here, it has opened me to a whole new perspective. And that perspective is organic farming, growing quality foods, without chemicals, and I love it so much. So going forward, this is opening me up to a new dimension of agri-farming, and then I'm happy to be a part of this uh, experience. So uh, next year, look out for me. You're going to eat fresh and organic from me. My name is Anno Jacob from the Western North of Ghana, but currently teaching assistant with agriculture economics in UDS. Organic farming has been one of the things I want to venture into. So it serves as an opportunity to come and know the intricacies of it. Therefore, being here, I have learned a lot from the production side to uh, the time of harvesting. All that goes into that value chain has been taught over here. And so one of my key takeaways is that as the world population continues to increase, the demand for food would also increase, and then the land size and agriculture cultivation begins to decrease. Therefore, being here, we've learned how to, I mean, use a very small portion of land to grow a, a lot of agricultural produce, such as companion planting, which will in a technique which will enable us to integrate a lot of crops on a piece of land so that you'll be able to get a bumper harvest out of the little that you do. Hi, my name is Demetria Hester Sanga also. Um, I'm from Elmina, the uh, Western region, and I moved here from the United States about seven months ago. And there, there is a lot of GMO food, and there's not a consciousness about it. So when I heard about the program, I was interested because over there, I also had an organic farm. But I want to educate and I want to change the mind of Ghanaian farmers to stewards of the land so that they are conscious about what they're growing, how they're feeding our community, and how it affects our community. I plan on taking this information and going back to Elmina and start a one acre sustainable organic farm, which brings us. A table to farm, which means that everything that I produce, I want to have at my restaurant and give to the community. So I'll be having monthly informational courses so that we can stay on top of organic farming and move away from GMO. My name is Raman Niafo Thompson, a poultry farmer from Greater Accra region. My journey to Grow West Africa has been an impact for the cause. So I wanted to venture into a crop production, which I had uh, listed on social media and I applied. I have learned a lot from this Grow West Africa concerning organic way of 
uh, growing crops. So um, I've done the first section, which is the uh, agro uh, ecology. And I'm now doing my second session, which is the uh, animal in the animal production. In fact, what I've learned in the crop production, growing crops in organic way, I've been a success, uh, has been very important to me. And I wanted to go back to impact it on my community. Already I have some boys that I have, I'm training, but I've started communicating with them concerning what I've learned so far. Uh, first of all, I'll thank Grow Great, Great, Great West Africa for the for all that I've learned from them and the impactful that they put on me. Thank you. The Grow West Africa initiative in training the youth for us is in the right direction. We need to really move out, get the youth to go out to produce. You need producers. Uh, the time for talk is over. We need real product producers who are into production. And that's why we think that this initiative and others for us are, are, are welcoming. So at the end of the day, we have people who are producing and then those productions can feed into the agroecology markets that we are envisaging. My name is Wilbur Foslati and I work for the Center for Indigenous Knowledge and Organizational Development. That is CICOD for short. And I'm the Deputy Executive Director for Southern Ghana. And I also coordinate um, the Ghana Agroecology Movement. So over the years, there have been a lot of testing, you know, trying out new ways of addressing our pests, uh, nutrients, and also uh, you know, the way we control or manage our weeds. And a lot of crude things have come out. We've tested quite a number of them. And we are in the process of engaging the universities to help us systematize some of these products. I must also say that there's quite a number of agroecology products on the market, inputs that we can use, you know, to promote. So people that think that agroecology is backward, is not, you know. And we should also realize that the chemicals we are ingesting is having serious health implications for us. And that's why we believe so much that consumers and other stakeholders must, must be wary of what they are, in, they are eating. And this for us is, is the way out, you know, to get the product out there on the market, specific locations and people can go buy them, you know, for their homes.